Hi, I'm Mark, the Electronic Engineer, and welcome to my channel. Last year I introduced several versions of a Spectrum Analyzer in different videos. It all started with a 14-band acrylic analyzer. I made not two, but three versions. The first two versions both use a chip called MSG EQ7. Buying these chips at different suppliers turned out to be a real pain in the butt, as many non-working version exists. That and some other issues I will not address right now led me to the third design that uses FFT analysis to break down the audio signals into several bars. At some point I did a comparison between a 14-band FFT analyzer and a 14-band analyzer that uses the analog MSG EQ7 chips. I published a video about it as well, I will put the link down below if you want to see it. The result of the FFT, however, was astonishing, to say the least. But I also had to conclude that the FFT analysis and the analog approach are two different worlds. In my opinion, the FFT just wasn't responding as smooth as the analog version, but again, it was good enough to continue on this FFT road. And I did some more projects. The FFT result was good enough to be displayed on a HUB75 panel. So I made an analyzer that supports 64 channels. Imagine that. At this point in time, I had built several projects and they are all space-consuming, to say the least. My wife agreed. The 14-channel spectrum analyzer is spectacular, but it also is a giant in the living room. It takes up more space than most people can spare. So I decided uh, to listen to my wife, I always do, and I designed a smaller version of the big acrylic spectrum analyzer, and it resulted in this video. This version has 10 bands, and each band has 18 acrylic LEDs. Since it are only 10 channels, I decided to make a good old-fashioned analog design. I am not using the MSG EQ7 chip, nor am I using FFT. Instead, the hardware included 10 good old-fashioned op-amp driven band filters, and the result is astonishing. Not only is this baby analog, it also included an ESP32 to process the signals from the band filter and to drive the LEDs. So yeah, the ESP32 is a bit of overkill for what's needed, right? Eh. Because of the ESP32 mind-blocking capabilities, I was able to sneak in a web browser-based real-time analyzer. So not only will you be able to steal the show with an eye-catching acrylic setup, you can also use any smart device with a web browser. How cool is that? As always, this project is open source. Use it to your likings, but when you do, I do appreciate some credits. And when you're done building, I wouldn't mind receiving some photos or videos to see the result. All you need to make your own version is in the description. Have fun building. Let me start by showing off how I did it in the better half of this video.